Hi, Rimandas Petrauskas, creator of the local trade Cop. So in this video, I want to show you how you can run the client EA, the server EA, you know, and start copying the trades. So I will be running uh, one master account and three client accounts. So this is my master account and I just find my server EA in the navigator window, uh, you know, in the expert advisor section. If for, in, you know, for any reason, the navigator miss, you know, is missing from your platform, you can go to view and find the navigator window in there. So just open it, you know, find expert advisors and your server EA should be installed in there. If you have the installation uh, done correctly, if no, just go back and rewatch the previous video that explains the installation of the client EA and server EA. So I have my server EA right here, I will double click I will enter my license key and click OK, you know, just simple like that. Next, uh, I will go to client number one and the same, I find my EA in the navigator window, I double click it, put my license key and click OK. Just default settings, nothing to worry about, you know. Just you know, basic simple setup. I go to client number two. If for any reason you have no charts open, you know, you can just open the chart from the market watch window. If the market watch window is missing, you can find it from the view market watch. If you can't find the euro dollar or any symbol that you that you want to use, you can go to symbols over there and just find the one you need you know on this list so obviously the list will be different for, for each broker now you can also do the show all symbols so it will enable all this huge list of symbols you know that your MetaTrader uh, allows you to use so in my case I will just use um, euro dollar chart right here as simple as that or, I can, or, or, or maybe I can press um, mouse right button on the on the symbol that I want and choose the chart window option right here. So I double click my client TA, enter the license key again, click OK. Here we go. I have I have two two MetaTrade client TAs running now, and then I will set up the third one. Here we go. Click OK, just basic setup, nothing to worry about, you know. Then I go back to my server EA, and now I will place a pending order on my Euro dollar pair. Let's see what we get. Client number one, we we'll see it has the trade carpet. Client number two, here's the trade. And client number three, here's the trade as well. Simple. Now let's go back to the master account and let's change it. Let's, for example, we drag the the trade closer at this point. You know. So now the price is one point oh nine, and client number one enabled, you know, change the price. Client number two changed the price. Client number three changed the price as well. So everything's happened the same, you know, on all these platforms. Let's try with the market order. I open the sell trade. Client number one, sell trade. Client number two, sell trade. Client number three, sell trade. You know, you see that with, with default settings, client EA should copy the trades and work, you know, uh, with no issues. If you have any problems that there could be some misconfigurations of the client EA or your MetaTrader platform, or you have some MetaTrader broker with some very unique, you know, maybe currency pair names. Like for example, I have this uh, FX Premius account on this MetaTrader and they use um, currency names with E dash at the end. You can see the, the little dash right here. So. We, we have a euro dollar pair 
without the dash in the market window we can open the chart window on it but it doesn't have uh, option for me to open trades you can see you know there's no option for me to place trades in that if we go to new order it opens you know it, and it kind of allows me to trade but just notice that automatically it selects the euro dollar with a dash at the end and if I try to find my euro dollar without a dash there is no such thing on this list I just cannot open trades I'm not sure why they're confusing customers like that you know but but uh, basically it's like that so we need to live with that we need to have a solution so solution is that client EA automatically detects this and you know you should not face any trouble but if you find that client EA doesn't work and it doesn't copy trades and you have this red question mark so it means that some trades are ignored you can go to the client EA setting right here and you can find the currency suffix settings you know these two parameters so if you need to enter some custom suffix if the client DA is not able to detect it you know it could be FX sometimes it's dot you know it's it's very different for, for each currency uh, you know for each broker basically so you need to enter your suffix manually and then you need to disable the auto suffix detection right over here if you disable it client EA will not detect what's the suffix and it will just use regular uh, euro dollar currency pair name so we can do an experiment and what will it do is that I will disable uh, suffix auto detection so the client here will not be able to detect that this particular broker uses this dash as a currency pair name suffix and it will try to open the trade for euro dollar uh, without the dash because I leave my currency name suffix empty you know it means that there will be uh, you know there will be no suffix used so I click OK to change the configuration and then I will try to open another trade on the master account so let me you now this time I will try to uh, open a buy and let's see if I get a buy so client number one get by trade client number three gets by trade and if I get to my client number two the one we just changed the suffix settings it doesn't have by trade on euro dollar and it's because it was ignored we can see that this red question mark appears and it indicates that there were trades ignored now to find the reason why the trade was ignored you should look in the experts tab right over here so let's just make this list bigger uh, and let's see so yeah here we go error cannot open a new trade because of an error 133 which means trade is disabled and then it says it gives additional information trading on euro dollar is disabled by a broker please contact your broker or make sure you have set correct currency suffix preference so basically this is the simple explanation let me just make it smaller again so because it cannot open trades on this pair and it should use a suffix for this you know so as you can see my default settings were correct it just detects the suffix so usually you don't need to worry about these things but in case it happens I just want you to know and see how this works you know okay so let's try one more trade uh, this time let's do a buy limit here we go buy limit on the master buy limit on the client number one client number two has a buy limit as well and see the dash at the end it you know with the default settings it automatically detected the dash and client number three here's the buy limit as well okay so that's how we copy the trades you know so uh, oh maybe just one more thing let's let's just do some changes for the stop loss let's say we set stop loss and take profit for both uh, for both market orders buy and sell let's see client number one we have SL and TP updated client number two uh, the same we just don't have buy trade it was ignored 
client number three. Here we go. We have it. Now, if for some reason you want that missing buy trade to be copied again, you know, because it was it was ignored, you know, the trade was missed, and client DA will not copy any trades that happened in the past. So it will copy only the trades that happened uh, at the time that the client TA is running. It's very important to understand this. But there is an option to copy all trades. So let's do some changes to our configuration. Let's go down in the parameter section. A lot of parameters in there, yeah, I know. Sometimes it's confusing. Okay, so it says copy open positions. And if you set this to true, click OK, it will copy the trade, but only if it will be within the maximum price deviation of 10 pips. If it will be, you know, more than 10 pips different between prices from the master and, and client, then the trade will be delayed. So let's try and see how will this work. It should copy the buy trade for us. Here we go. The trade was copied and we have all the trades. Obviously it was copied with the SLNTP in place. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.